Okay, so to be honest, I've had a few things break out in life over the past few days. So it's been a couple of days since I've been able to get under the hood of this whole thing. But uh, first, as you can see, I started by taking off all the accessories because you're going to want to do that because there's a lot of little brackets and stuff that'll bolt to the uh, bolt to the heads. And my goal is to take the heads off of this. So. One thing that you may want to do is uh, check your location of like where all of your intake bolts and stuff are to uh, see if they got a bunch of junk around them. So what I've done is I have went around with a little, I was trying to find it, right here it is. I went around with a pick, there we go, a pick, and loosened up all the little bits around all my bolt holes and stuff and my next step is I'm going to vacuum the whole engine I'm going to take a shop vac and suck all that nasty stuff off of all my uh, off of my intake before I even loosen any of the bolts that way I don't have to worry about any of that stuff falling down in there so just a short little update oh and I'll probably take care of a lot of that stuff up there on the cowl too while I'm at it <coughs> So, uh, another quick little pro tip, maybe you can see it better from this side over here, uh, but your, uh, your exhaust manifold bolts, like these right here, that's, come on, focus, focus. All right, so my exhaust manifold bolts, the ones that hold the exhaust manifold to the head, you want to spray those well ahead of time, and then spray them again and then spray them again and then spray them again because I'm doing this at my home in my garage and I don't have a torch so I'm hoping that uh, by spraying them and letting them sit and then spraying them and letting them sit that I can then slowly come back and work them all loose a bunch of them I've already broken loose I just keeping them in place right now um, so anyway when I get some more uh, progress made on this I'll uh, I'll show you that I'm sure you don't want to see a video of me vacuuming the intake so thank you all for watching so the key before tearing this thing completely apart is to make sure that you're at number one top dead center I like to use a little piece of paper stuffed up into the number one spark plug hole and when it gets on a compression stroke as it's coming up to top dead center it'll generally blow that piece of paper out or you can hear it hiss and there So now, just need to bring the motor on around. Until my timing mark is at zero degrees, top dead center. Just a couple more degrees here. Oh, I wish. Okay, so I don't really know how great this is coming out on camera, but there's my timing mark on my crank lined up with the timing mark on my uh, timing cover. Let's zoom back out here and come up, and I have uh, put a mark on my distributor. Come on, fall oh, gas. So anyway, so everything's timed. At number one, top dead center, that is crucial before you go to taking the valve train apart on one of these things. So next step is uh, pull the distributor out, pull the exhaust manifolds off, pull the valve covers off, and then I'll be back with you. Show you a couple of little tricks of the trade 
on uh, taking that part of the motor apart. So, a little update for you. And please, stay tuned. Okay, so now I have the manifolds off, the valve covers off, the intake off, the distributor out, obviously. And it comes to a very, very, very important step. These rocker arms need to go back onto each individual valve that they come off of. All of these rocker arms. Sorry about the lighting. Okay, so all of the rocker arms and all of the push rods need to go back exactly where they came from. Otherwise, the wear patterns are going to be different and you could end up with a real problem. Uh, constant tapping, whatever. So what I like to do is I take an old shoe box and I'll draw an arrow for the front of the engine. That arrow indicates the front of the motor. Then I poke a lot of hole, poke eight holes, a total of 16 holes, poke eight holes for each side, and what I will do is I will lay the driver's side rocker arms here, and the passenger side rocker arms there, from the front of the motor to the back of the motor, exactly the way they are in the engine. Then I'll lay the box over, and I will put the push rods into these holes so that the top of the push rod, this end of the push rod here, is sticking up out of the hole. So I'll get all that torn apart and uh, show you what that looks like after I get it, uh, get that much apart. And while I'm here, I think part of my problem is, uh, I don't know how well it comes out on camera, but back there, that intake gasket was, uh, The water port was uh, allowing coolant over into the intake port of the head. So that's part of the issue. But I'm this far into it. I'm going to go ahead and pull the heads off. By the look of the side of this head over here, let's see how well it shows up. It don't show up real well on camera, but those uh, two center ports right there, those two exhaust ports are pretty damp. Pretty damp. So I'm interested to see when I pull the heads off uh, if I have water down in one of those cylinders, if not both of them. So there it is, a quick little update. Hope you all appreciate it. Like this video if there's something about it that you like. And please, stay tuned.